Governor of Texas has made school choice a priority on his legislative agenda and church leaders are following suit. The Texas Catholic Conference of Bishops is calling on the faithful to support school choice. Pope Francis has in the past written about the idea saying, quote, schools do not replace parents, but complement them. Republican Governor Greg Abbott says that his plan would ensure parents are in charge of their child's education, not the government. And joining us now is Bishop Michael Olson of the Diocese of Fort Worth, Texas. Your Excellency, great to have you with us today. Uh, the Texas Senate passed its school choice proposal, which would return public education tax dollars to parents. And I know you recently testified uh, before lawmakers about this issue. What more can you tell us about this legislation? Uh, well, what's what's unique about this re legislation, particularly one bill that we're very excited about, sponsored by Representative James Frank, uh, Bill Number Forty Three Forty, is that it prioritizes people and it begins with the poor, and then it begins also with those whose uh, financial ability is is greatly inhibited to to pay for a, a Catholic school tuition uh, because of multiple students and because of the costs that are incurred and the stress on family life. And then it proceeds on also to special needs children so that there's a prioritization uh, for this money that would be allotted that would go to parents, all right, and not directly to our schools. So our religious liberty would be protected this way, at least as this bill is written. And I think that's something that I, for one, am very concerned about, uh, that I, I wouldn't be in favor of this if those protections were not somehow guaranteed. Yeah, and I understand um, in a commentary issued last month that you, along with Leo Lindbeck III, an American businessman, uh, said that Texans have no control of their children's education. If you can explain to us, you know, what exactly you meant by that, and also can you share with us you know, why you believe Catholic education is so important? Certainly. I think that, um, in a sense, our expectations in our nation as a whole, and not just in Texas, but uh, it, are placed upon, we, we sort of just think that the state is responsible for providing for our schools and the education of our children. That's a grave mistake, and it's certainly a terrible thing that we should presume because parents have the chief responsibility and duty and schools are ancillary essential uh and there are state interests in education uh but they don't uh precede that of the parents obviously uh there's a collaborative method but the primary agents of education are the parents mothers and fathers um i I also think our Catholic education especially is needed because our Catholic intellectual tradition uh, is so rich in the resources that uh, intellectually, both in faith and reason, that we need to educate and sustain our society to help it grow and develop because of the impoverishment of values uh, that have been brought about by the contemporary ideologies that confuse the dignity of human beings uh, with just simply a commodity or something that is only a matter of artifice or convention. Your Excellency, we have maybe 30 seconds left or so, but I'm curious um, what you think is next for education reform. What would you like to see? Uh, I would like to see this bill given a chance and in a sense to, uh, I, I would see a greater renewal in our Catholic schools with our identity, especially driven to our mission to educate the poor but also to, to present our sound Catholic anthropology based in natural law and the gospel. Well, Your Excellency, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us about all this. We appreciate it and God bless you. Thank you, bless you too.